welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've changed location slightly. Thought it'd be nicer in my daughter's room for a little while and she doesn't want to come in here at the moment. So I thought that'd be good. So I bas we basically went and done a bit more Christmas shopping today. Um, we are just trying to get it all over and done with sort of thing. Um, and I wanted to buy some Christmas um, presents just so we could, uh, not Christmas presents, Christmas decorations, because I do want to try and put all my Christmas um, decorations up early and be very um, organised this year. So it's the first year I'm trying to do it. So I have a stress-free December, I'm hoping. So we have done some shopping in B&M again, um, Primart and Smith Toy Shop. Um, so I will share with you guys what we got. Um, and yeah let's get into the haul um, if you are new here please obviously do remember to subscribe to my channel and if you do like these sort of videos please um, give the video a like, uh, thumbs up and let's get into it so what I'll do is I will start with I'll finish with B&M because they were um, there was a um, we got more there, so I'll start with Primer, I think. So, to start with, this was non-Christmas. We needed, my daughter's had a growth spurt and is running out of little vests. So I bought seven for, um, not seven. Yes, seven, sorry, for seven pounds. And they're swan themed and she, I think they look lovely. So I didn't want anything too dark. There was a lot of dark ones um, and normally they show through light clothes so I thought those would be lovely. Then also I saw some Christmas themed microfiber cloths. So um, the back one is just um, like a winter scene in green and I think there's some red houses as well. Just... I don't know if you can see it that well. And then there's also reindeers. Then they've got a white one, which I probably won't use because it's probably just going to show up all the dirt. And then a nice red one and a nice um, green one. So I've got those. And those were £1.30. Have a quick look and see how big they actually are. We will be using them anyway. We need a few because some of us have got some of ours have gone quite tatty and I saw these and I thought they were so cute. But they're reasonable size and they feel quite thick to be honest for one pound thirty. But that's the reindeer one, it looks so cute. So that was those were five for one thirty. They did have a few different themes. There were some Disney ones, but I just got the Christmas ones, I thought they were cute. Then my husband bought my daughter this and I did just see, I did, we didn't notice it, but they've got some for babies, um, ladies and uh, men. So we got the kids one, so it's size two to three and it's the little um, child um, from The Mandalorian. And my husband loves that show, so he thought he'd get it for her. So it says, waiting for the weekend, like, with a picture of him. And then the Star Wars trousers, um, just with Star Wars on. And I think it's the capsule. I'm not really into the Mandalorian or child. My husband is, with the little um, baby Yoda on. And I thought they were quite cute as well. So that was actually £10 for a size 2 to 3, but it's possible that it'll be more for the older ages um, so my husband got her that and that's probably not even going to be for Christmas then these I'll probably keep hold of till Christmas maybe even put it in her Christmas stocking because she saw them and fell in love with them and they were on sale for £2 so these are size 2 to 3 and they were three fifty before, and she absolutely loved them. She's got starting to get into her unicorn. Skylar is really becoming her a very girly girl now, 
um, and she loves all pretty and sparkly and she fell in love with them so I might actually put these in her advent calendar um, because the, I did buy size 2 to 3 so um, they she would grow into them a bit and get a bit more use out of them then also I bought some lol surprise pants for her so these are six and they are four pound fifty for the six um they're just the basic ones and i was going to put those in her stocking bag um her stocking for christmas um just some pants because she is starting to say she want when she wants to go to the toilet now but she's not always understands how to do it in the potty so we're slowly getting there so I started to get some knickers again because they are a bit too big for her at the moment just for the fact that we have the pull-ups over the top of it so she does pull her little pants down over the top of it so these will last us quite a while I think um, at least for another year or so before we go up a size then the last thing we got from Primark were these little Disney ball balls. I've seen them around. I know there were some last year. I'm not sure if they're the same, but they're four pounds for six. Um, and I think the mini one is behind here. Um, and I thought they were so cute. It's not easy to show you in this light. Let's see if I can get it open. One sec. So I don't want to get it all out. But as you can see, that's what they are. So you've got the Minnie Mouse, the Mickey Mouse, um, and then the spot themed. A red one with a white detailing at the bottom. And then a hand. So I thought those were cute. And Skylar's starting to really get into Minnie Mouse, so I thought I'd get her that. Then I forgot and I had this one in. <laughs> I think I got this out and left it there. So um, my daughter absolutely loves her blankets and sitting on the sofa. So I thought I'd get her a Christmas blanket for Christmas Eve so we could snuggle up on the sofa. So I'm going to put, actually put this in her Christmas Eve bag. Um, and um, we're going to sit and watch a film because she is starting to get into her films. It might even be a panto because she loves the CBeebies pantos that are on. We sat and watched one this morning before we went out and she absolutely loved it. So I got one of these and it's just, as you can see there, just Minnie and Mickey and the Christmas theme in the background. Um, yeah, so she, I thought that was lovely. Um, these were only £6 as well. So um, I've had these before. I think I had a mini one. Um, in one of my hauls and she absolutely loves it I can show you it now yeah she absolutely loves it oh it's Mickey and Minnie she absolutely loves it she'll pull it out herself because it's to hand it's just I'm literally sitting on top of it and she'll get it out and just snuggle up on the sofa with me um, it was in one of my first hauls that i done from Primark and she absolutely loved it so I thought I'd get her the Christmas version of it even if we just use it for Christmas or in yeah in the winter months it was something so I always like to get the ones from Primark they're so cheap right so Skylar has come to help out so we are going to change it up a bit because there's some stuff in the Smith toy store bag that she is going to go crazy Have for um so i'm going to skip to b m for now because in the yeah in the smith toys bag i will tell you what she absolutely adores so hopefully she'll go out in between and i might just have to do those and then come back to it sit back here look hello. say hello hello you're gonna help mommy So look what's in my bag. A teddy. You want teddy? This is not a teddy, but mummy will help you. So this is a little penguin that she teddy. fell in love with. Teddy. Give him a kiss. Ah. So this is actually a little penguin with a hood. I told you she absolutely loves penguins. She actually picked this one out for a Christmas decoration. No. So this was three pounds. No. Don't throw it. Hold it properly. Ooh. Yeah. 
so we got one of those and then in my last oh. B&M haul I got another one of these so this is similar to what was on the other B&M haul and I thought it was so cute it's so I thought I'd get that one as well <laughs> yeah we're here to help aren't we Skyla then these are 50p she absolutely Dogs. loves them yeah Dogs. you're not having them now we've had lunch um, so they're literally the Heinz, um, Heinz little pepper no. pig shapes and she absolutely loves them. So I got some oh, for 50p. Right. They're always good in this weather because if she gets a cold she just does not eat. But she eats loads and loads of them so I thought I'd get an extra pack of those. Then for her Christmas stocking also I got her a little brush because she's been sharing mine because she's still got her baby brush. So this one was £1.49 and it's got a little mirror on the back which she will absolutely love. Mm. What have you got now? Yeah. Then we got a few of these. So these are woodland animals. They're quite similar to the polar bears I showed in my last haul. Mm -hmm. um, so I got the little wooden at the little owl um, and that was £2. Don't drop him. Then I thought this one was so cute. Mm. I actually, oh, I had to get it, which is why I got the owls. I love the owls and the um, the owls and the foxes. You'll see a bit of a theme. And that was two pounds as well. I thought it was so cute, wasn't he? No. She loves owls. Don't pull. Um, um, she loves owls and foxes. So I just got rid of my daughter, <laughs> she was becoming a bit of a pain going through bags. So um, I got this one also from um, B&M, it was £4, it was a little reindeer, they're all so glitter and pretty with a little squirrel, a owl and a bunny and I've just noticed that there's a fox there as well so there's four little creatures is there and then there's also a little bird um, and I absolutely fell in love with it it is it does feel a bit delicate because of here but I'm just gonna make sure that my daughter doesn't get hold of it so it's gonna have to go up high but I just love the animal theme at the moment and she loves her animals so I thought I'd do a little woodland theme for our Christmas decorations this year then also for I think this was her stocking I was thinking of this for. We are always losing these, I don't know about you, um, the hair clips just go missing so much. So there's 34 a pound, all different colours. They had a blue themed coloured or a purple and pink theme and I thought purple and pink would be better and it was right at the front anyway. The other ones were stuck right at the back so I decided to go with the pink and purple for her. And also I got in the animal theme were these three little animals. So these were £1.50 each. So I literally got a squirrel, an owl and a fox. And when I saw them I absolutely fell in love with them and I thought I have to have them. So I bought some of those. So these are, as I say, were £1.50 each and we're trying to do a bit of an animal theme so she'll love them. Um, she helped me pick them out because I couldn't decide. Um, and she always seems to go for the fox and the owl so that's what I went for with most things. Then I've also got a bath fizzy. I have got an, another one, I think a shape of a letter S and I don't actually know whether I'm going to put this one in her Christmas Eve basket or her stocking or the other one so I'll just see what happens nearer the time but this is meant to be a gingerbread scent there was also a snowman one and I think a Father Christmas there was another shape as well but I went for the gingerbread one because I thought it was cute and she loves biscuits so yeah, and I think that was one pound. Then before my daughter comes back, I'm going to actually, I have got another bag of stuff from B&M, but I'm going to skip to the Smith toy because knowing my daughter, 
because knowing my daughter she will actually come and want to take everything out so this is the thing that she's fallen in love with and she absolutely loves um so i am putting this in her stocking and she's going to go crazy for it every time we go to tesco's this is all she wants my husband's already told me that he wants my husband's already told me that he wants a divorce because he absolutely hates it. She's just going around the shop all the time. So I got a yellow one just because that was the only colour left. Um, but we wanted to buy it. So, um, well, I wanted to buy it for her, I'll say. So that's for her stocking. Then for her advent calendar, I bought her some little baby dolls and a dummy for her dolly so these were 3 99 I think um, from the Smith Toys something like that, they weren't that expensive um, and you literally turn them upside down and all the milk disappears um, so she's absolutely going to love that so I've got her those for her advent calendar then I'm probably going to put these in her advent calendar instead of these so my plan was I'm going to start with these ones um, I was going to put these in her stocking because she loves these um, for Christmas Day but I might only put one I might see I might only put maybe Olaf in her stocking because she absolutely loves him we saw him in soft toy that sung um, a it, it was a tune from Frozen um, I don't think it was the one where he sings um, but she absolutely loved it and she wanted it so um, we had to pry her away from it um, so we got her this one so this was 3 99 in Smith Toy so I think I'm going to put this one in her stocking maybe I'll see what happens near the time and then I've got Anna and Elsa, which probably go in her advent calendar, and those were both three ninety nine. And she absolutely adores Frozen at the moment, which is what most kids are like. So these two, I'm going to put in her stocking. Um, I don't know if you've seen my previous haul, but I bought her the Salvanian families, and these are the Salvanian family camping series. Um, so from the looks of it, you can get. Um, so there's nine to collect, so there's little nursery ones. So I've got her two of those, so they're three ninety nine. Um not three ninety nine, two ninety nine. Um so I'm going to I got her two of those for her stocking because she has has actually got a couple of figures already and I thought we'd add a few more. And those were cheaper than buying the little families, but I have already bought one, so I might if she likes them, I might stick some in her Easter bag or something. That was those ones. I'm just hiding them out of the way in case she makes a quick run for it and come back in. And then the last bits from B&M. So I got this. So I thought this was actually a good idea. So I might actually break it up. There is actually three um, Horlicks in here. And I wanted to try her on it. So I might actually try this in her... Um, I might try this in her Christmas stocking maybe. Or even um, put one of these in for her um, Christmas Eve box. So there's literally three. So there's a pack of mini marshmallows. And then there's three of these. I think it was one forty nine or one pound for the box. And what I might do is put one in her stocking, or two in her stocking, and one in her um, Christmas box. And then put the marshmallows maybe even in her Christmas box because we always have marshmallows here. She loves hot chocolate with marshmallows, so we always buy the little bag from Tesco's. So I've got that and I thought I could divide it up. Then, ooh, where should we go next? I think most of this is food. As I said before, my husband wanted some Danish biscuits. He absolutely adores these. Um, so we got those. I'm not sure if they were one or two pounds. They must be two pounds. I don't know. 
so he wanted to get some of those then this was the flavor I bought for um, in the Tesco's haul that I didn't get so I thought I'd get some of those so this one is chocolate and orange swirls and we loved them I think it was last year I think this was the one we had I can't actually remember they were I know they tasted amazing and they weren't the originals then for a pound I thought I'd try my daughter on one of these so it's um, a cup with a straw around it because she is getting better with her cups and it's got a little bus on with the little animals and Santa Roy so this will probably I might put it in her stocking as a stocking filler because um, I've already for her advent calendar I've already given her one or I might just give it to her early but I thought I'd give it a go because she does have a tendency to sometimes get bored with different glasses so I thought this would be different because um, it obviously the novelty of having a straw then oh, we also got some of these just for my daughter when she's got cold so some mini um, hoops I think these were three for a pound then we were going to have one of these for lunch, but we ended up having lunch out because we were out for a while. So they were, we got two tins, I can't remember how much they were, I think they're 99p or 89p. Just the macaroni cheese. Um, so we bought two of those, they're always handy just to have in the cupboard because my daughter loves um, any of the Heinz um, pastas in a tin. Then, some mini penguins my daughter loves penguins um, biscuits so we thought we'd try these so they're just mini penguins and I think there's six packets yeah there's six packets in those and I think these were one pound or something then the last thing I got her so I am planning to make her a Christmas Eve box but I'm not going to do that this year so what I've done was I saw this in B&M and I thought i would just use that for now so it's a Christmas Eve sack um, for £3 and I just thought I could put all her bits in here after I've wrapped them and it'll be just a little cute and easy tidy way of putting them in so thank you so much for watching my video if you do like this sort of video obviously do remember to hit the like button and if you if you haven't already please remember to subscribe um, yeah I have got a few more Christmas bits to come but I'm hoping I'm nearly finished now I've just got to sit down tonight and work out how many bits I'm missing I think it's mostly now I'm missing bits for her advent calendar I've definitely finished Christmas so you will see her, what I'm getting her for Christmas very very soon I'm just waiting I think for one last bit to come through the post I'll have to double check I'm sure it is one last bit to come through the post and then I finished her Christmas shopping um, so yeah um, so I will see you in the next video bye for now